Alright guys, we're back. Next game, he's deciding whether or not to go first. Oh, that's a pretty hand. No, no, I don't want a mulligan. So, new opponents. Fun things. We'll see what happens with this one. Hopefully be a little bit better. We got some removal. We got some Nighthawks. If he plays any cards, we get a 2-2. Two -two. I like it. If he plays an instant, we get a 2-2. Two -two. Can only block creatures with flying. Sounds good to me. Oh, it's an instant too. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. If I sign in blood, I can draw two cards and I'll have to discard any. Awesome. Sweet. It's looking good. Rancor. I will encrust that bitch right now. No, I can't. But I will, however, drop a Nighthawk. Oh, that's terrible. Why are you doing that to me? Oh. That's really strong. I block and I lose my Nighthawk. The Reach and the Death Touch, though, prevents my Nighthawk from getting through, but I can at least keep the Nighthawk out there in case I draw a kill card. I'll take the four, because I really don't want the Death Touch creature to be much bigger. Just a 1-1? One, one. Cool. Boom. Target creature card from a graveyard. Cool. Well, that should prevent that from doing anything else for a little while. Until we can draw an answer to deal with this deadly recluse. that just a little bit bigger we'd be fine See what he's got. I'll take it. Cool. He's a real interesting character. Um, da 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 da. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Ok, 
Okay, I want to make sure I could do that. Uh, tch -tch -tch. Let's see here. Oh, that doesn't help me at all. Oh, let's set that up so that I stop at the beginning of his main phase. Or when he leaves his main phase. Uh, target creature attacks this turn if able. Awesome. Let's put you there. You there. You there. Cool. Need something soon, though. Something soon. That's what I need. Of course, he's got a creature now, so I can get my 2 2 out. Nope, yep, can't do that yet. Really? Um, let's, uh, pass our turn again. We'll be notified again when my opponent leaves his main phase. We'll force the 2-1 Wealth and Tarn to attack. Target creature attacks this turn if able. stop when he goes out of his let's get rid of that let's put you there boom boom and Boom. That'll keep us alive. Kill two of his creatures. I like it. That was that was good. I got rid of that deadly recluse. So if I want, I can actually finally start to get in for this. Uh, 
There's a battlefield as a 3-3 three, three artifact, 1-6 wall, or a 2-2 two, two artifact creature with flying. Awesome! So good. Awesome. Absolutely wonderful. Let's uh, give claps for that one mountain that we just drew. Um, I have one more turn to live. Look at that. There are five lands left in my deck. Five. And I keep drawing them. Um, I could get in for three and block, block, and take four. I think that's what I want to do is get in for three, block, block, or block, block, and take four. Rather than losing my creature to one of these guys. No, no, I need to stop there. Okay. Player blockers. Block. Block. Okay. Blockers are declared before damage. We regenerate. Bum, bum, bum. bum. Now I need to draw a creature or a kill card. Or sleep. Any of those would be wonderful right now. Um, <laughs> apparently that didn't want to go off, so I now need to, can I possibly get out of this? Block, block, take four, gain two. Nope. Let's concede this game. That was absolute and utter bullshit. <laughs> I mean, that was just ridiculous. So, I mean, I guess there's really nothing we can do about that. That was just awful. Um, he's got a lot of 3-3 three, three creatures, so... I mean, that's part of, that was part of the problem, is I couldn't get through his 3-3s. Three so, we might want to bring in the Hulk. Get rid of one of our little guys. But we really don't have that many little guys. Um, let's move the Cower and Fear to the sideboard. And we'll bring in the Phyrexian Hulk. And that should give us a whole lot better matchup. Just because that's not going to do anything for us. The zombie Goliath is a 4-3. It's not going to help us. Yep, I say we're good. Submit the deck. And... It's, uh, he didn't see any of our good cards, so... I mean, if he's sideboarding for what he saw, then awesome. But he knows that there's a Nighthawk. Which might be enough for him to bring in a Plummet, but... I mean, nothing. Any of these games. Magic Online is screwing me right now. I guess we'll be back with the next game. Hopefully we can draw a little bit better. Alright guys, we're back. And had to mulligan a little bit, but I feel like this is a better hand. Um, I had a all-black hand with a whole bunch of blue mana. So, you know, couldn't keep it. Um, really need to get that other black mana, though, so I can get out the Nighthawk and the uh, Simon Blood, but... We'll see what happens. Hopefully we can... Oh, Scroll Thief's just as threatening if he doesn't drop anything. 
Or if we draw another land, I can sleep and get in for the scroll thief. And draw some cards. And that's a problem. Uh, he becomes a 2-4. Yeah, you know, we can't do anything with that. Might keep him from attacking, though, if I can swing back for 3. It's going to be a 1-6 wall. Nope, 2-2 two, two flyer. Give me that Nighthawk. I mean, he doesn't want to attack. Yeah. I knew you did not want to attack. That works. I mean, not really, but that works. It let's me draw a card and get in for three damage. Well, Super Neferix. All right. Four mana, two Neferix in hand, and a Nighthawk, and I can't cast anything. Oh. Now that's something. Still not what I want to see. Um, can't really get in for anything unless I kill the centaur. Which might be worth it. I mean, I can kill the visionary next turn with the scroll thief. Yeah, we'll trade the one for one. It may not have been the best play, but... If I can get any mana, if I can get a black mana... Oh, this game is completely different. <laughs> one black mana, this entire game changes. Uh, still nothing. He might attack with everything and get him for two damage, but I'm okay with that. The chromaton will start to get bigger. 
next turn if I don't draw lands. I don't draw lands ever because this game hates me. Now, as he's leaving his main phase, we'll force the uh, Now that sucks. Um, let's uh, force this guy to attack this turn. Oh. No, of course not. Why would we ever see anything that we could ever use. I mean, that makes no sense. Makes no sense. I played the same number of both. I only played one mountain. I've seen it every game we've played. So, I can attack all out at Jace. All right, well, let's see. What do I want to do? I can survive one turn. Um, attack, Jace, memory adept. Hmm. I don't think I have anything to deal with, Jace. I think if I could get a Sign and Blood, and we could do a Mind Sculpt, that I might actually stand a chance. But that's just completely and utterly the only way that I could ever I could come out of this game and win in four turns. I'd have to win in four turns, three turns. I'd have three turns to win. And that makes things a little bit harder. Um, let's make Scroll Thief attack this turn, if he can. Block. Put plus one, plus one counter on him. Woohoo! There it is! Oh! Oh, look at that. It was perfect. Had he not dropped the Sentinel Spider, I could have actually survived.
Attack Jace. Yeah, stupid. Yeah, I mean, just the deck screwing me. I can't possibly win with that. All right, so you know, we'll draw our awesome one card left in our library. Lose the game. Oh, so dumb. I mean, Crusts are being awesome for us. It's just stupid. I don't know. I wish I could change the deck, but apparently I cannot. Normal events you can, but... Oh, well, we'll try it again next round.